everybody. Welcome back to the Bitch and Brainstorm podcast. I'm your host, Elaine Terso, and I'm here with a new friend, Raymonda, uh, or Rye, right? Um, right. And she is uh, one of our panelists for the Elevate Your Coaching Business Summit happening on January 17th. She's international, you guys. She's from the UK. Um, and so I'm super excited to have, um, we actually have multiple international panelists, which is very exciting to me. Um, but we're going to be talking about launching. So Rai, can you give everybody a short introduction about yourself and tell everybody who you are and what you do? Amazing. Uh, hello, everyone. Yes, wonderful to be here. Uh, so I'm Ray Richardson, and I'm a launch strategist and planner and a marketing mentor. And I love working with course creators, coaches, mentors, those who are destined for that bigger impact out there in the world, but need help with their marketing and launches. Um, specifically course launches, group programs, um, that sort of thing. Mm. So let's dive right in. Okay, we're just going to dive right in. Let's so go. can you tell me, in your opinion, what do you think the biggest mistake business owners make when it comes to launching a new product or service or a course or anything like that? So the one of the biggest things, there's, there's a few uh, sort of mistakes, I suppose, glitches that can come up along the way. But the one of the main ones is not knowing who you are launching to. Mm. Um, so if you are really clear on your course and um, your transformation, you also need to know who that transformation is going to serve the best. So having that clarity of your target audience, knowing exactly where they are, um, how to get you know get through to them in terms of re uh, relevant content, um, really engaging content. Those are the key things to to come out with really before you even consider going down the ad spent route or anywhere near near that avenue. Yeah. In order to have a successful launch, like, do you have a recommended like you need to have a certain audience size or can you launch to five people? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is the rule of thumb around that? So it's really how long is a piece of string here? Um, when you have five people, it might be a little bit limited as to what you can mm -hmm. convert. Mm -hmm. um, but the the sort of the thing that I tend to work with uh, my clients on in particular is uh, sort of not not only growing your audience, making sure that you grow that um, have that as a, as a habit in growing them daily. Um, but actually focusing on really getting the engaged audience. So again, going back to having um, having relevant content for the audience that you're talking to, um, making sure that it's really engaged audience that you're talking to, and that's how you nurture them into to the point when they're ready to actually then convert into a sign up, you know, a, a membership or a launch um, course mm -hmm. enrollment or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. What are some of the most popular types of launches um, that you help people with? Like, what's your specialty? Oh, I love this one. Uh, so in my, um, am I allowed to uh, sort of mention in my um, yeah. sort of little pre-recorded mm -hmm. bit that people will mm -hmm. get access to when they join the summit? Um, um, I mentioned six sort of key um, ways to launching, but there is loads and loads of more. Um so one of the favorite ways that I um, like supporting my clients with is uh, launching through a workshop or a webinar or a masterclass, because um, there's nothing better than bringing people together to an event kind of environment, really connecting, really delivering some amazing value during that time, um, and then inviting them into, you know, working with you on that other level. And that's one of my favorite ways. I have a huge background in events. Um, and, and events is something that I totally geek out on. Um, so I love it. And, uh, and I love creating the momentum and the buzz around, around kind of coming on board with that and joining in conversations, having that live, um, feedback with, with your audience as well. There's nothing better in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I totally get that. Um, when you are getting ready to launch, are there some things that we need to do before we start marketing? Like you know, to me, marketing is more than posting on Facebook, right? Like, what, what do you need to have prepared before you launch? So you you really, I mean, there's there's a few things, but the the absolute must um to to get clear on is some of the content that you um uh you need to prepare in advance, what which will help during the kind of 
go live, think of something to post right now kind of thing. So if you can set up any of the kind of email sequences, any sort of automations beforehand, like once someone signs up, once someone shows interest, so then you can, when you're in launch mode, you can be really reactive and engaged with any kind of comments, dropping in people's um, sort of DMs um, and things like that. So really the more work you do before you go to launch in terms of the automation, stuff um the easier it will be and I've got um a, a, another goodie that I'm going to give away at the summit is a um a no stress content uh launch launch content um checklist which anyone can download um who attends the summit so you're very welcome to have that and uh, it goes through all the content that you need to have in place um so then it's more of a breeze when you go into it and enjoy it I love it. Yes. So you mentioned some very important things here. So if you are a VIP member, meaning that you pay $47 and you get to participate in the summit, um, you will get access to um, Ray's uh, video that she provided. Like you, this, the panelists get five minutes, right? And that's not a lot of time, but the meat and the potatoes are where you are going to um, get in the, the, the vault where all of those the panelists have provided additional um, resources and teaching and tips and tutorials and tricks and all the things that you need in order to, to go deeper into those topics. And then you also get access to the giveaways that our panelists have all provided. Uh, you get to actually be in, entered into drawings in order to win those prizes. Um, and we have some amazing prizes that have been donated. So thank you. I'm so excited. So if you have not yet gotten your tickets, you can get them at um, elevateyourcoachingsummit.com. Uh, reminder, we start January 17th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific time. We'll be live streaming for free on YouTube. But if you want to participate in the summit, it's only $47. Like, come on. <laughs> It's so yeah. affordable. So I hope that you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for joining us, Ray. It was Ray. It was so great to meet you, and um, I cannot wait to have you um, to hear more from you at the summit. It's going to be really great. Thanks so much. See you then. All right, bye guys. See you to the summit.